Hey guys, what's going on? Rich here, doing another commentary. It's actually been a while since I've done one, but gotta put it, put some shit up on Twitter. And I was like, hey, need some gameplay. So, uh, Body Lotion actually was kind enough to let me do it. Body Lotion, uh, all the O's are zeros, I believe. So B zero D Y L zero, some shit like that. You'll figure it out. Uh, he starts off by going grenade launcher. Uh, it's always good to have, at least have one guy going grenade launcher. Kind of looks like they all kind of push grenade launcher, and it kind of leaves them. The other team really good at getting snipe. He does a nice job here of getting away from snipe, and he stays alive when he was over grenade launcher too. I don't know why he kind of earlier in the game when he just backed up when the guy was right there at sandbags where he's at. I don't know why he didn't just clean him up with uh, his DMR. He just threw a grenade. Uh, he does a nice job cleaning up the guy right there. He. Go, he has that evade which is actually really overpowered with the the movement speed I believe uh, it's just personal but anyways he right here he drops down and gives up top control while having a sniper which I I, I just per I personally don't like that uh, it gives up to wait gives up way too much control and just kind of gives the enemy set says hey take take control of the map because I don't want it so right there I probably would have stayed up top just get the you know, easy beat down control something let, try not to drop down unless you absolutely have to. Uh, I like how you go to holograms here. It's an easy way to get behind them, especially with them running flag. Uh, just to, to always get on their side to be a distraction. It leaves them instead of running flag trying to kill you. They're right now they're more worried about you and the people that are in their base instead of running that flag. Your shots are okay. You seem to spam a lot here. Uh, I I think if you time your shots a little bit better, you wouldn't have such a hard time or just in general of killing people it seems like you I, I've watched this gameplay twice already just to kind of figure out what I was gonna say but yeah I can't you, you spam a lot and it just, it just I, I feel like you get flustered or something you just want them to die faster but you can't get them to die faster so I mean you, if you time your shot they'll actually die faster than what they are dying by you as of right now as of right now you, you just you spam and you spam and you spam unless you're close or, and host which in this game you're not you can obviously tell that the, then then they're not gonna die very fast so you definitely need to time your shot a little bit better mm, here you got sniper but at the top of your stairs which is okay it's not the best place to be uh, a lot of the time if, if an enemy will flank they'll try to come down from bottom of the base from bot they'll go bottom mid from the bottom of their base into the bottom of your base and come up your stairs to top uh, to your top health pack so right here you got sniper over holograms, which it, it's actually not that great place to have a sniper. You, there's really no, you can't really see anything on the map here. You can see maybe where they're gonna be at from their spawn. You know they come up their stairs, and that's what you're looking for actually right here is a spawn kill maybe, or just waiting for them to come up the stairs. And you, you're not really helping your teammates out here a lot. You're just kind of sitting back like, hey, I'm gonna wait for them to spawn, but you know your your teammates are actually dying. You they're not. You know they're not going to spawn if you're not killing them. So you got to kill them first before you go for that spawn kill. So definitely try to get that sniper up to top middle, top, uh, top, your top post, top yellow, something. But don't don't have it at holograms unless you're just picking it up from there or something. Because that's a you can't see anything from holograms at all. Mm, let's see what else. You get some nice shots on here. Uh, when you zoom, it's like a, I've said this before in one of my previous commentaries that zooming actually makes your Ridicule bigger on the on the target, so it's actually okay. I I in some of my gameplay that I do, I actually zoom in and spam, but most uh, probably about 85% of the time I, I don't zoom in, so I'm not spamming. But when you zoom in, you're able to, to spam, and your shots will count more often. So you spawn the bottom of your base. You do a nice job of getting out of there really quick. <clears throat> Right here, you kind of you're kind of forced to push back down under, to underneath part of your base, so you just kind of need to get out of there as fast as possible without going through bottom mid, because bottom mid is a terrible place to go. You do a nice job of here, uh, kind of flanking back around through hall uh, through grenade launcher, and you kind of get control of your uh, your side back. So it, it actually could, it actually turns out to help you out a lot. You chase this guy really hard. It's not the best thing. You get the kill, but. You're chasing him so hard that it's in this game. I actually see it as if you chase. It's just asking for someone to get pooped on or shit on. Either one. Uh, very rare occasions, you know, 
you do get shit on. It's probably not really rare, but I ain't gonna lie, I get shit on all the time just because I chase. But so I try not to chase a lot in a in a game. Right there is kind of sloppy, sloppy shots. Uh, I don't know if you kind of drop down here on purpose or not, but probably don't. Definitely don't drop down there. Right there, you just kind of block their spawn, and now you, now you're running away when you had. Uh, I don't know if you. Mm, I'm not really sure what you're doing here. Uh, you didn't really help to protect the flag guy. You kind of just left him to go by himself through post, and you ran through holograms. I don't know if you're looking for their spawners or not, but you kept them from spawning the bottom of their base when you dropped down. So that I don't know that was going to put their spawn. Probably going to put their spawn bottom mid, actually. If not bottom mid, uh, right at bottom holograms. So I don't. And you know, you ran through holograms, but you didn't even take. You didn't take. You didn't even hesitate to look down at bottom holograms to see if they spawn there. So I wasn't really sure what you did there. So you kind of you. I'm not trying to be mean, but you you are the reason that flag cap got returned. You know, it's just mental game. That's all you got to work. A lot of the 85% of this game I see is mental. 10% uh, is actually skill and 5% is luck. Uh, if, you, if you know how to move around a map, know what to do in certain situations, you have nothing to worry about in this game. Uh, the other 10%, you just need to know how to shoot a DMR. Right here, you do actually a really nice job of trying to get away with this sniper. I like how you did drop bottom because you were one shot. You did everything you could to get away with the sniper. I don't know if it was just by greed or just wanted to hold a power weapon. But you did the best thing you could and that was to put the sniper in bottom middle. Keep it away from uh, uh, top top control because if you have a power, control, power weapon and top control then that's even worse. Right there, I don't know why you didn't shoot. You were on their window. That's what I call window. And then you dropped down and... I don't know what you were doing. You're just like, oh, I'm going to come up here and assassinate this guy. And then you look right. You see there's a guy there. And you're just like, oh, no, what do I do now? And now you've left. You know, you didn't shoot a bullet. Those two, there's two guys there, full shields now. When you could have had at least one guy, probably two shot. And another guy with a nice nade on. Instead, you end up having to drop bottom. And then you sprint and just get beat down. So it's all about your mental game. A lot of mental mistakes in this game, but... It's very easy to they're very easy to fix after just watching and learning. You see a guy at your post and he might have had Blade. sniper. I wasn't hundred percent. I couldn't really tell. Uh, I believe he did. Right here he does the your flags out and you notice it. You didn't really have a choice here to chase. I would have chased in this situation just because of getting shot in the back like you were. Nice shots. You do a nice job of cleaning up a guy and helping out your teammate there, and why, and also staying alive. Now the best part to do is just get out of there. Uh, definitely uh, get some top control. Do a nice job here. This guy kind of chases you. Well, he doesn't really chase. He just challenges you, and you do a really good job. You take sniper and you take it bottom mid to to the bottom of your base, which I don't like. You're giving up all all top control, like every all any sense of top control that you had, you just gave up when you took the sniper and dropped down you know you need you need to keep holding top control for your team you just just sit there with the sniper if you have to your teammates gonna be there just don't drop down and let the other team take control of that area if you let them take control of that area they're they're gonna win with no doubt you know it, it won't even be a question it's just be like hey I'm gonna win you know, top control literally is everything in this game every shot makes a difference it's in, in uh, Halo 3, there was actually 12 bullets, 11 bullets that it took to kill someone. This one right here is only 5. You know, it's sure Halo 3 was a burst shot, but it was also a spread. This one, this isn't a spread, this is where, almost where you shoot it hits. But, uh, I mean, it's 5 five bullets, not 12, 4 or 11, whatever. Right here, you're one shot, and you pop back out, and I don't know if I would have popped back out, definitely just kind of chill right here uh, right there next to yellow and waited for that flag guy to come around knowing that they're going to be running a flag and when you pop out you get headshot he get headshot on and you lose sniper and top control and they do a nice shot you get a nice spawn here and end up stopping the flag which is really good and you pull the flag at the same time so kind of a win-win but it didn't have to happen and you could still have a uh, sniper and top control you it's all about the, uh, a lot of minimal stakes, like I said before, but it's really easy. Those are really easy to fix. You know, sometimes it just takes a little bit of practice. Uh, right? Uh, I feel like your sensitivity is too high. I've watched this more than once. Like I said, I watched it twice earlier. Your sensitivity, like, 
either you're getting really flustered and you're just going in circles or something, but you like your sensitivity just, I don't know, you, you, it, it moves really fast, I should say. Like when you get flustered, a guy's right in your face, you just start going left, right, up, down, and you don't really know where you're shooting. You know where you want to shoot, but you're not really sure what you're shooting, it seems like. Right there, you, t you, you had a guy top yellow and a guy at their post, and you took flag, which was good, but you took it bottom mid. If you have a guy at top yellow and a guy at top post, they're going to spawn either bottom mid or they're going to spawn underneath their base. So basically you said, you, you, you basically threw the flag at them. You didn't, you didn't even try to run that flag. You threw the flag out to bottom and you didn't even really go try to get a good flag cap there. You're doing a really good job of slaying, but you're not really doing, helping out your teammates with objective or, I mean, really shots at all. I mean, yeah, sure, you're getting assists, but you're not really being there for your teammates to help them team shot. You know, it's, it's all one-on-one -on -one battles, it seems like. You definitely, uh, you gotta, see right here, you're in a nice spot. Right here's a nice spot to be. Uh, uh, you're able to look at multiple places and you're able to see many areas of the map is, you know even if they're going to spawn but you're able to see, uh, at their window you're able to see a lot of their a lot of the ugh, a lot of their map and you were just able to put shots on you actually helped out a teammate there and you guys were able to stop that flag cap which is really good because you guys now it's tied right uh right there was just kind of unlucky they spawned bottom holograms and they came up on you nothing you can really nothing you can really do in a two-on-one situation you know just put shots on do the best you can Leg you do a nice job here of getting back up top yellow, trying to get to the other side before they can cap a flag. You do a nice job here of actually getting there in time and recovering the flag and also pulling the flag and keeping it moving. I don't know if you got a call out or something, but most of the time you probably just want to keep taking that across the window. It would have it would have moved a lot faster, and instead of getting shot in the back, I think you'd have been fine. Yeah, see, no one even came from hologram, so if you would have kept moving that. Uh, from the one window to the other window, it would have been a lot faster, and you probably wouldn't have lost so much control here. Uh, you, had, you literally have no top control of your on your side, unfortunately. And they're left here, spawn killing you almost, it seems like. This kid right here is obviously just really terrible. Terrible, I don't even know what he was trying to do. You do a, you do a really good job of getting back up top again. After being down low and Play. after being forced Rock. down low. Play. Right here, you, just another little small mental mistake. Play. You hide, but Rock. you hide right in the gap of the window. Uh, there's three Play. or four windows right there in top mid, and you Game you hid literally right in the gap of one where they could see you from their main objective. So uh, that right there is just kind of knowing the map, playing more. Uh, I noticed that you hadn't played a lot of MLG. Uh, maybe 20-ish 20, 20 games, I think, I, I think that's what it was. <laughs> Have a nice little five shot here. You, you kind of timed your shot more so uh, than Play before. Taken. And it was a really good out DM, uh, DMR on run. cloud. This, Play this right here is a really good flag run. Uh, I don't know if Play I'd throw that out because a lot of times uh, you never know if they're going to spawn posts. Or cause right here it didn't look like your team had a lot of control up top. So they could have easily spawned their post. And if you throw that flag up there. Uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's touch return, so they can easily just run over it and that's a touch return. You did a really good job of picking up the flag again, trying to keep it alive, and then putting shots on, and then, but, uh, when this, when you killed the first guy and put two shots on the next guy, you should, probably should have went ahead and taken flag, because it was, le uh, it was a one, it would have left it a one-on-one -on -one situation with, uh, your guy being full shields and that other guy being two shot. So, uh, you could have easily gotten a flag half there, but... Uh, it's, that's that's more team than anything. It's not even a mental mistake. That's all just team, knowing how the team works. I don't know if these were randoms or if these were kids on your team, but uh, you easily could add a flag cap right there if you guys would have just worked as a team more. Yet an, uh, another nice out DMR right here. You get away. You you do a really good job of getting away when you're one shot. And that's always a plus. But uh, staying alive can really really change uh, certain aspects of a game. One guy can make a difference. He can go clutch and. Stop a stop a flag, and one flag means a lot in any game, especially when it only goes to three or five. Mm. 
You get a nice, uh, you, you get some top mid control and you push top yellow. Uh, I probably would have stayed top mid here. I probably wouldn't have chased this guy. Uh, the longer, the the further the range on in a DMR battle, the better. Well, per, for me at least. But really good uh, gameplay, other than a few minimal mistakes, and just you just need to time your shots a little better.